Moving a handful of times in your life is stressful enough. Now imagine moving 32 times. Author Jane Christmas packs up her story in her latest book, Open House, A Life in 32 Moves, and she joins us this morning in Toronto where you're visiting from your home in England. That's right. Hi, Annette. How are you today? Good morning. Good morning. I have to tell you, when I read this book, I was starting to get all anxious because I'm not, I'm not great at moving. Uh, you detailed some of the renovations that you've been doing on your home in England now, and, and I was just having flashbacks to like living in drywall dust and, and boxes everywhere. But you thrive on this. I do, yes. You know, it isn't pretty, that's for sure, but... Um, but the um, the end result is so very satisfying, um, and you know nothing really connects you more viscerally to a home than when you renovate it. So, um, and as I talk about in the book, it was, well, I was sort of basically stripping the home um, back to its bones. I began to do the same thing with myself, and um, I just homes hold so many memories for us. And when we take that time to um, to look back. We, we gain a new perspective, don't we, of, um, of where we've lived, how far we've come, and, uh, and the people who have been in our lives at that particular time. Mm -hmm. You've, uh, you've uh, sent along some photos of, of some of the before and afters. What was it about this particular home, and why, like, you're, you're not from England, why move to England? Well, I married an Englishman, and uh, I think it's somewhere in the Geneva Convention that you can't move an Englishman out of his country. <laughs> so <laughs> in in the end, I mean, it was a, a good point in my life. My children were um, had left home, and they had gone off on their own little adventures, and um, and so I decided to move to England. So I've been there for about 10 years. And, okay. Uh, so I think um, we're showing the photo now of your kitchen in, in England before yeah, you renovated it. That's a before picture. We hated this house when we first looked at it. We were not, and that's what it looks like now. Beautiful. But it, it was, um, I, my husband is not a renovator. He doesn't love anything remotely. Oh, my God. That <laughs> See, that, that to me makes me so anxious, right? It's like all the You're boxes making... everywhere. You, they just need to be unpacked. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, you need, uh, yeah, you're making me anxious now, too. <laughs> And then the landing there. So what is it, do you think, about moving? Like, you, and you moved willingly. There are people in unfortunate circumstances who have to move. Yeah. You want to move. Um, do you kind of get this cathartic, um, okay, I've got to pack through my stuff? Are, are you living very minimalistic because you move so much? I do. I mean, each move uh, causes or um, begins a purge, doesn't it? And um, and I like that part of it, too, because things, you know, we just lose a connection with something and we no longer need it in our lives. And I think it's a good time to, to uh, declutter. Um, but I just, um, I like that aspect of it, but I just find the whole idea of moving into a new place um, just a real adventure. You right, know. kind of exciting, right? It, it was interesting. So the book came out early this year. You didn't really get much of a chance to tour it. I know you were booked at a number of festivals get any and things. Chance to tour. No, but I mean, the cut. The book comes at the perfect time right now because we are in our homes and we want to get connected to the home. Mm -hmm. Yes, and and you know we have been in our homes for ten months, haven't we? And uh, and many of us have probably gained a new appreciation of our homes. Um, so. I mean, I, and also I think people might begin to, not in that appreciation, see how empowering it is to own a home. And I mean, especially for women, I found it really, it really made me, it made me more responsible. It made me just uh, look at my life entirely differently. Right. And, and I know that home is in everybody else's, um, you know, radar right on the radar right now too. I mean, you just have to look at the uh, huge number of property shows on television and racks in the shops are filled with um, uh, magazines on decor and home renovation. So we are all to some degree, I'm pretty focused on our homes. Mm -hmm. So your book, Open House, A Life in 32 Moves, I know I've seen it at a number of local bookstores, so go check it out. Jane Christmas, thank you for joining us, and Merry Christmas to you. Yes, Merry Christmas to you too and to all your viewers too, Annette.